Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are back on the YouTuber collab series. We're back here on day 13. So let's go over what's been happening. On the list of VPs, we have finally overtaken Sky Badger or Turkey, in, uh, who was in first place, as he's lost a lot of land both in Egypt, Italy, and Yugoslavia. So we now have 30, 30 point lead. We are now lead with 155 points. Um, today's kind of stat thing was the wealthiest nations in the world, or what, how much money each nation has. Uh, you can probably see here, we are actually third. Um, out of the players that use this, we were first, and then Sky Badger, uh, Toaster, and then Norma and Libya, Norma Set. Now, um, yeah, okay, you might be wondering how we, we were first with 6 play. I mean, we were first out of all the actual players in the game at 6k. We actually had 40k when the day change happened, but then I went and spent a bunch of money because I had to start producing more units and building some more uh, buildings. Uh, not that much conflict going around. As you can see, we've st we're stacking up units. We finally finished that airport kind of uh, highway, so we can actually get planes down here near Turkey. We're building an airbase here, and we're gonna connect this. Um, we're sending more units around here to kind of want our defensive stance, and we have 22 units here. Which, as I said in the previous video, I kind of want to attack Ukraine, but I also kind of don't. Um, I might move them back onto a more useful front, like Dubovka over here. But um, since I have a four-day non-aggression pack with Sky Badger. Um, I don't need to do that anytime soon, and we can do that later. Uh, we can do that later, and for now we can keep the units here if we ever want to invade Ukraine. Now, um, where we're actually fighting is, well, Lithuania. You can see here we have, we've, we've um, finished invading uh, Latvia, and now we're just invading Lithuania. They s had two units in their capital, they're sending them at me. I'm just going to quickly capture, um, defeat them, obviously bomb the artillery, and then just quickly go and take them. So we're going to have Connus, I think that's their capital, in real life too, and uh, we're going to get Sialii or whatever. I don't even want to try pronouncing that, I'm going to butcher that. Um, and one of the and the last one's Memo, actually, we're about to the Germans. Now actually, a lot of rebellions going on, like, in the AI countries, because, well, small is, because you can see, like, obviously... When a country doesn't have food, has a shortage of food, the morale just starts crashing. And that's why lot, most of these AI countries do not even have a food province what, at all. So because of that, their morale is crashing, and now there's a lot of rebellions going on. Like, the morale in these Bulgarian provinces is, is absolutely terrible, as you can probably see. And yeah, and all the small AIs, like here, they're like rebelling to um, provinces. Portugal's okay, because Portugal actually has that food province, so they're not losing a bunch of food. Because food's important, because... When the food goes down, the more your morale goes down, and that's what will lead to rebellions. Ireland's also okay because they have a food province, but um, yeah, that's how that's what's going on with the AIs. Um, now the main topic of this video is France. So, I, as in the previous video, I want to invade France, and so we're actually gonna go for the landing. We're going in for the kill here. Now we got to reveal all in France. Um, they have twenty units, which is good for us. Um, yeah, the reveal all was a few hours ago, and originally they had 28 units, but they did try to invade Turkey, and even in the newspaper, it does say that they lost some units, so, yeah. They have four tanks around here in, in southern Italy, and a bunch of other units trying to push in around here. Now, my main problem with me trying to do this amphibious landing is the Air Force, because obviously, if he sees me landing these units, if he doesn't have any ships up here, or any land units, the easiest way to deal with this would be to get the Navy in, and then um, just bomb the uh, convoys or bomb the units when they get on. So, for what I did is I realized that Genoa was their main air uh, kind of airport. So I put a bunch of military sabotage spies in it so that their airbase would be destroyed. Because if you don't know this, if you military sabotage spies in a city um, can destroy or damage not destroy but damage the buildings there. So when you have an airbase, I put military sabotage spies in, and this has damaged the airbase. So yeah, they had this one plane here in Zurich. I don't know why it still says the planes are alive. Because um, they're clearly, they can't be hubbing there, but who knows. Uh, yeah, point being, so we took out the airbase here. And this basically means that these planes are going to be useless. So unless, so this is the only, if he wants to try and attack me, this is the only plane he can attack me with. She yeah, will do damage, but let's hope that he doesn't pay attention. And the moment this actually gets onto the land, it's no problem because I have two anti-air on it. So one tactical bomber is going to get not do much. And we're gonna, we have a thing, an, another hour to disembark. So unless he hits me with that plane within an hour, he ain't gonna be able to do much. And I kind of think he's inactive because 
when we took out this airbase, we did we took off two of its five hit points. And if he rebuilt this airbase, airbases are one of the only um, types of buildings you can see the levels of. Like, if I check here, I don't know the level of this IC, don't know the level of the barracks, don't know the level of the infrastructure, but I know the level of the airbases. Airbases and naval bases are the only ones you can see the exact level of. So if he had repaired this, I would have known by now. But they still have three out of five hit points. And I think if his planes were really here, which I'm assuming they were, they're probably grounded now, he probably would have tried rebuilding this. But either, or maybe he could have um, dragged them onto Florence, who knows. But he would have tried rebuilding this, so. I don't know, maybe he hasn't come online ever since then. Um, it's been like four hours, so. Maybe he had some things to do, but who knows. Hopefully, for my sake, he hasn't come online. But yeah, he has one more hour to try bombing this convoy before it lands. Or before it actually finishes embarking and lands onto the province because this bomber will have to do a decent amount of damage to these units. But after uh, before it lands, uh, after it lands, these two anti-air will not let it do anything. So pretty good. As you can see, the stack doesn't is not really that strong. It's an anti-air, four artillery, two anti-air. Not that much, but you can see he doesn't have any units like anywhere near his cores. Not like any land units up there would take a day at the minimum, even like a light tank. So I'm not worried. Um, they're just sending in this unit to try and capture some provinces. We're also getting some tanks behind it, which the tanks are just you there so they can eat, so they can take the provinces out quicker. But uh, yeah. In terms of unit count right now, we're chilling on 73 units. You can see in production, we're building some submarines, artillery, like tanks. Construction wise, we got some air bases going, we got some you know, ICs in production. Not, not, I don't have too much going, but oh, well, what can you do? We don't have too many resources. Um, I'm leveling up the IC in this food province, and I also am pretty low on oil, and I need more oil. This is cheap on the market, but I still like more, because I don't always have the money to buy it. So we're building an industrial complex in my only core oil producing city. So that should be it for talking about me. Let's, I'm just going to show you guys a bit about what else is going on in the world. Now, Libya has managed to kick Turkey back out of Egypt, so good for them. And now they're probably just going to be fighting air and naval battles across the uh, canal and... Uh, the Gulf here, whatever that sea is called. Libya is also trying, uh, starting an invasion into southern Italy and trying to kick Turkey out of there, along with the help of France, who's also trying to do that at the same time, it looks like. So good for them. Uh, France was able to take almost all of Yugoslavia. Almost all of Yugoslavia has been taken. Belgrade actually rebelled to uh, Romania, so that's tough for France, but oh well. Yeah, he's trying to push in Yugoslavia. He's pretty much taking all of Yugoslavia. But um, yeah, he's continuing his mission. I'm assuming he is going to try to push on to Albania and maybe Greece. But I'm pretty sure Skybadger has Greece very well fortified. Although he doesn't have forts, but I'm pretty sure he has more units around here. Uh, at least I'm assuming he does. Because he does have to fight a two-front war. Actually, is there more of a three-front war? I don't know, because you have a front over here in Egypt. You have a front over here in Greece, Yugoslavia, and then you have a front over here in Italy. It's like a three-front war, but um, who knows what, what they're up to. Speaking of toast, so actually, as I mentioned, toast, toaster did capture France, capture all, pretty much all of Yugoslavia. But was it worth a what? Why did I type in toaster? Sorry. But was it worth it though? Let's talk about the casualties that have happened. Now, um, first let's look at Libya. Libya has taken 14k casualties. Turkey has taken 15k. Pretty much the exact same thing. Obviously, Turkey had that. I mean, Turkey had the massive invasion into Egypt. We almost captured the whole country, but um, Gauntlet has played this really well and has managed to kick them out. So pretty much even there, not too much going on, but oh my god, um, yeah, Turkey against France, now, yes, Toaster has been able to take all of Yugoslavia, good for him, but was it worth 38,000 casualties, 38,000, Turkey, Sky Badger has taken a me measly 4k casualties, while their Toaster has taken 38 I don't know. <laughs> that's just funny to me. Like, the amount of casualties he's taking. That's, oh my god. Like, I don't know how he took that many casualties and barely the under Sky Badger. I think what Sky Badger was doing, because he does love his artillery. I think he was letting Toast take off Yugoslavia and just retreating with his artillery, but periodically bombing his units. So that he would be able to take, um, damage Toast's units, but he wouldn't, but his artillery was just constantly retreating. Good tactics from Sky Badger, especially considering he knows he has to fight a multi-front war. So good tactics from him. And actually, to put this in perspective, France has taken almost almost 40k casualties within two or three days of being at war with Turkey. 
while in my whole world with Leo, I took 30k casualties, which isn't, it's still a lot, but damn, I, I got, I got, I knocked Leo out of the war with 30k casualties. France has just taken Yugoslavia, and I wouldn't he say he's anywhere near winning the war. So, pretty, pretty tough way from him. And the reason he's not anywhere winning, near winning the war is because I'm about to wreak, wreak havoc on him. But yeah, I think that should be it for today's video, guys. Thank, um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and peace.